Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. And today I'll be reading a multi-character listener by me. So let's get into it. Kaza. You never really saw this coming. Kaza was an amazing partner. And you really thought that everything in their relationship was going quite well. He didn't really think that he was having those thoughts. That he would want to leave you one day. And that it would happen so soon. But there it was. While they were seated in the living room, having finished their breakfast, he just looked at you with a sad look in his eyes. Before breaking the truth to you, telling you you couldn't do this anymore, that he felt restricted as a wanderer. It was not in his nature to be bound to someone and to settle down like this. So he apologized to you for stealing your heart away and breaking it like this, for giving you a chance at something that was unattainable. Because settling down was not his thing, and he didn't know why he wanted to try in the first place. The guilt overwhelmed him that he tried this at your expense. But he really thought that they wouldn't leave. But maybe, maybe this simply was not meant to be. Albedo. Albedo knew this was bound to happen. But he felt like he was not being the best partner for you. And also, he felt like he was losing the spark somewhat. Like things weren't exactly clicking between the two of you, like how they were meant to be. So that's why. He thought you weren't meant to be. That you needed to break things off here. Before you get any more attached. And before this can get more painful than it already is. Moyan, I can't do this any longer. Huh? Albedo, this is out of nowhere. You're not actually serious. You're kidding, right? But it's not funny. It's not. He said, trembling. The realization of everything being real was dawning on you, but you refused to accept. But, Albedo only gave you a sad, sincere look, kissing you softly as a goodbye before leaving, marking the end of your relationship that barely even lasted that long. Venti. Venti only broke things off of you because, well, it was putting you in danger. So many people targeted him. So many people hated him. And so, you would become their target, obviously. And you couldn't have this happening. You would get hurt. You would be in so much unnecessary pain. So that's why he went out of his way and did this. He knew it would hurt, but to leave you, perhaps more him than you, since this is the most sincere kind of love he's ever felt, ever since what he had, with his friend. Lyon, I'm sorry, but I think we just can't do this. He said, and that's all the explanation you got from him. No matter what you tried to say, no matter how many times you cried or held him in your arms, it would be the last time you hold him and the last time he talks to you before he completely disappears, knowing that this is better for both you and him. No matter how painful it may be, skirmish. Skirmish broke up with you because, well, he felt like he couldn't give you enough. He couldn't give you what you needed. And you would always be unsatisfied with him. For good reason, too. He knows you will never be good enough. And he knows, well, that you deserve better. That there is so much that you deserve to have that he just simply can't give you. And that's why... He thinks that you should be able to love someone else. To have another chance at romance. Not with someone like him. 
who can't give you what you need, but with someone who will be able to love you and cherish you like you deserve. You may never know how to love, at least not like most people do, but his love for you is true and real. His only mistake was not knowing how to show it. Tonari. Tonari would only break up with you if a big fight happens between the two of you. But he is really strong on his own principles, and there are some lines that you simply just couldn't cross. So, when it starts getting a little bit too far, and you make a mistake of doing something that you shouldn't, then that's it for him. The two of you are incompatible, and you are breaking up. He's not a fan of putting up with things and trying to actually forget your mistakes. If the mistakes are small enough, he will forget them and forgive. But if they're so big that they would make a difference in their relationship later, and they say a lot about your personality in a way that would just make the two of you completely incompatible together, then there is no reason trying for something that simply won't work. So that's why he calls it quits and tells you that the two of you simply can't be. But he would still like to remain friends. Xiao. Xiao would break up with you because he thinks he's kind of a bad luck. And he doesn't want you to put up with him. He won't know how to treat you right, in his own opinion. And even worse, the two of you aren't meant to be. And it's dangerous. So all of it simply doesn't make sense to him. And he knows it's his fault that the two of you started dating in the first place. But it's about time he fixes that mistake. And stops this. So neither of you will have to hurt. And so you won't have to endure with him any further. Because then, maybe, if you spend some time away from him, you will have a chance at finding a real boyfriend. Someone who you can understand. And someone who can love you and take good care of you. Without endangering you in any way. <laughs>